Don't Sleep at the Edge of the Parking Lot by Xylon X. It's not like I have narcolepsy or anything, but I can pretty much fall asleep anywhere if I choose to. The past year or so, I've been driving my girlfriend to her college classes one town over, and while we are well off enough that I can afford to drive 50 extra miles a day, I can't really afford to do much more than just sit around and twiddle my thumbs while I'm waiting for her to get out of class. As a result of all this free time with nowhere to go, I've taken to finding nice shady places to park. Nothing like a good nap. This past semester has been kinda nice. She has night classes on Thursdays, and almost no one is in the parking lot. I'll park near the back of the parking lot at her college, crack down the windows just enough to let the air in. From there, I just lean back in the seat and let myself drift off. I've been doing this in different places and at different times for almost a year now, but last night convinced me that maybe I should park a little closer to the building. There's this nice area towards the edge of the parking lot that's surrounded by trees. They block out any lights from the city that would otherwise be visible. It's cozy and dark. My car is a land barge, and I really don't have to worry about anyone getting in without making a sound loud enough to wake me up. As such, you can imagine my surprise when I woke up to find a young girl crouching on the hood of my car. Her clothes were dirty and tattered. Her hair was matted and knotted up with leaves and brush. I'd have almost mistaken her for a caveman if not for the Nashville Predators logo on her shirt. I sat there in shock as this young girl stared at me through the windshield. I slowly sat up and kept my gaze directly ahead as I reached my hand for the ignition. Part of me wanted to speak up. Every other part of me wanted to flee as fast as possible. I started the car and the lights came on immediately. The little girl shot back towards the woods and this massive black figure was caught in the light and let out a blood-curdling scream. The last thing I saw before shifting into reverse and slamming the gas pedal was that little girl seemed to be attached to some sort of appendage coming out of the back of the black figure. I won't be parking there again.